guys, it's Teresa, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe. I'd love to connect with you. Today, I am excited to share with you my do-it-yourself project. I decided to do a paneled wall on the front room of my condo. Now, first of all, I could have totally done this job by myself, but when I shared it with my friend Kevin, who is all things power tools, that I was gonna cut my wood with a handsaw, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna bring over my table saw because I had a feeling you're gonna need some help. And he was right, okay, thanks Kevin. You did a great job, saved me a lot of time. Anyway, back to me. After we um, used the nail gun to put all of the wood up, I went in with a small bead of um, wood putty, I believe it was, where I sealed all of the crevices between the wall and the wood just so there wouldn't be any gaps once I finished with painting. And so if you're anything like me, you want everything to look great. And so I did take my time to go in and do that. After it dried, maybe a few hours, I went in with a small sander, um, just small square sponge sander, and it was the finest grain, and I just went in to smooth it out just to make sure it was going to be great once I painted it. The next day, I got up and um, taped it off and oddly enough this took me maybe three days to do and it could have been a one-day job if I would have started like Saturday morning through Saturday night but I just took my time doing it just so it would be right and that's my dog there boomer my trusty sidekick so anyway after I taped everything off I went back over it one more time just to clean out any residual dust from um, sanding and then I prepped my wall for painting now I used a bare eggshell enamel interior paint and it was from Home Depot. I love all their paint and it was really great. Now this was probably the most time consuming part just going in and cutting all of those corners and I did that with a regular paintbrush and I did that first because I didn't want any brush strokes that would be obviously seen once I went over it with a roller because I think the roller leaves a smoother finish. At least for me it's my preference. So um, that probably took an hour or so and then maybe more and then it only took like maybe an hour to go over the entire wall. I got up the next day after it dried completely and put on my second coat and it didn't take that long at all. Again, after I made sure everything was covered, I let it dry maybe an hour or two just to make sure there weren't any spots that I missed. And then I took the tape down, put my couch back in place, rolled out my rug and I was very satisfied with the finished product. And here it is. And I subsequently painted the side walls a light gray as well. So if you've done any projects, please tag them below. I'd love to see them. Mm -hmm. 